What is going on, people of the internet? It is Savior Leader coming at you with another gameplay commentary. This one's going to be a bit different. I'm going to be doing a life story, which you probably have never heard on my channel. This is going to be a Thanksgiving based story. Before I get into it, I just want to say, did you see that spawn on Nuketown? My entire stream spawned on the other side of the map, and I spawned behind the enemies for some reason. Still managed to get B though. I got behind them, and this gameplay is just insane for what was going on. This is going to be my first sexual experience. To start off this video, I would like to say there is no nothing too inappropriate in this video. Hopefully, I'm going to try and keep it as clean as possible. And I'm going to try and make it watchable for younger age people. So to start off this video, um, it was just, it was Thanksgiving day. My grandmother has, she's an extremely, like, she loves children. So she's always has some sort of children child in her house. When her kids left, she decided to get foster kids. And for 20, 20 years, 20, 25 years, She's had these foster kids in her house. So, this one particular Thanksgiving, she had two girls in her house. One was a little not too bright, and the other one was just, she was an extremely cute girl. But, that's besides the point. So, this day, we were all waiting for them to get here for Thanksgiving. I had a feeling, well, I dreamt the night before that something bad was going to happen, but... I didn't think too much of it. It was it wasn't too big. It wasn't like what happened, but it was just like somebody went into a hospital. I think it was my sister went into a hospital for some reason. But I had a really bad dream. But that's besides the point. When they arrived, I was like, "Wow, she is extremely cute. I should probably stay away from her cuz she seems like bad news." I already knew what was happening. It was just it was out there before she even stepped foot into the door like when they were walking up I saw her and I was like yeah I'm gonna try and stay away from her but then my two nephews or my two nieces and my nephew started to show up in my house and I those three kids I love them to death they're like literally they're the fam so they were around me they always chill around me because those are my like they're like they love me and I love them they're my closest they're the closest people to me. I should I shouldn't say that, but they are like literally every time I see them we're always chilling because that's that's the fam. So we were chilling on the porch, we were just playing around. They wanted to fight me. So I had one of my nieces on under one of my arms and I had my nephew under my other arm. And I was just like wrestling them around because the other one's a bit older so she doesn't really like to play fight like that. They were like seven, seven, they were like both seven at the time. I was 14, so we were just play fighting. And this girl came, comes outside and starts sitting on the porch. And she was like, she looks at me. She goes, wow, you're strong and all this stuff. It's like, okay, thank you. Um, why are you talking to me? I mean, you're cute, but like, no, you don't seem like someone I would date or do anything with. So... Sooner or later, I start to realize that she she wanted the D. So <laughs> we were like we were like just playing around. I was like, yeah, you're extremely cute. So she like grew on me, I guess, in a way. So we were messing around on the porch after she said that. We were just talking, having a good old time. She seemed like a pretty go per a pretty cool person. And then I was like, yeah, you're cute. And she kissed me. So I was like, okay, this this may happen. So I called my friend up. My friend, he likes to be called Ben, but his real name is Abdu. So I called him up. I was like, yo, Ben, I don't have any condoms right now. You got a condom I can borrow? This is the first time I've ever had sex. I didn't really carry condoms around. I don't know why I called him because he was a virgin at the time as well. But I thought he could get a condom from his brother or something. So we start like messing around I was like yo bro I need a condom like seriously I need a condom and he was like nah he can't get me one he lived like three minutes away from me so I could just easily walked over there 
but he couldn't get me one. I didn't have any condoms, so th that was one of the biggest problems with this whole scenario. And we just continued to mess around. About an hour or two pass, and it gets dark. After it gets dark, we're all just upstairs. We had turned off all the lights because the little kids wanted to play Rats in the Dark. Rats in the Dark, if you don't know what it is, it's like basically... It's hide and go seek, but in the dark. So we were all playing hide and go seek in the dark, basically. And we we're just having a grand old time, just trying to basically keep ourselves occupied before dinner came. And we had just started playing. So when they turned off all the lights, she, the girl that I was talking to, she just came up to me and like put her body in between my legs because I was sitting on the edge of my bed. She put her body in between my beds, uh, in between my legs, and we started like keep making out. This was a, was a little bit weird, but it was, it's life happens. So after we started making out, uh, we were like, yeah, we should not be doing this with all these little kids running around around us. So my, me at the time, I lived upstairs. This was before I moved into my basement, but me and my sister had a room that connected, so we like snuck into my sister's room. And we like went into her closet and just started like making out. She started grabbing on my my beef stick, let's call it. But she started grabbing on me. I started grabbing her boobs, like just messing around. We were two horny kids. We decided that, yeah, I kind of, I'm extremely horny. I just want to have sex. And that's basically where I was at at that moment. So... When they came into the room, they're like, we can't find these du these dudes. The lights were all off, and they opened the closet door, and, like, her hands were in my pants, but the lights were off. They didn't notice that her hands were in my pants, and but they didn't know that we were in there. So we're like, yeah, we're just hiding in there, you know, nothing big, so don't worry about it. And they just, it was like, whatever. My sister was there. My sister was a year older than me, so... She was just there. She was, she didn't really think anything of it. So I didn't think the kids thought of anything of it any, either. So after we had already ate, we all were watching movies in my sunroom. My sunroom, we have an extremely big TV. It's like 70 inches long or something like that. But that's where we watch all our movies at. Ooh, the Tempest feel. But that's where we watch all of our movies at. And in these movies, I forgot what movie we were watching. I think it was The Nightmare Before Christmas. But we were watching a movie, and she was like, yeah, let's go do something. So I was like, okay. So we went into the bathroom, and we, like, both left because we didn't want to get caught. So we, like, both left at different times. And then we went into the bathroom, and we, like, started making out. And then she pulled down my pants, and I was like, um, I don't have a condom. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? And then, like, I kind of pussied out. I was like, yeah, we should not do anything because I don't have a condom. Like, it wouldn't be right. I don't know you. Like, just stuff like that. And I started telling her stuff like that. But she didn't really believe me that I didn't want to do anything. So she tried to keep going. And I was like, nah, let's just stop. But that's going to be the end of the story, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to like, favorite, comment, subscribe. Yeah, I did kind of pussy out in a way because we didn't end up doing anything except like hand stuff but i hope you enjoyed the video feel free to like favorite comment and subscribe if you did and i will catch you guys in the next one peace Get this out. I'm gonna sell it for you guys. Set myself up. Good shit.